This is the third and final part of our restoration of the Viking Series 662E, which was an electro home made radio sold by the Eaton's company in Canada. And in this one, we're going to put the new audio output transformer and reinstall the chassis, test it out. Got the transformer for the uh, old electro home radio. Note this made in Canada, it's Hammond Manufacturing. This is a new universal transformer for an old radio. So let's open this thing up here. Here is the new, the new transformer. So this thing's got a, a single primary, and it's got multiple taps on the secondary. If we look at the little schematic diagram here, we'll see that the brown and the blue, these ones are our primary. So this goes to our B plus and the plate of the output tube, and then depending on the impedance of the speaker. We're going to use black as one, and it'll depending on the the, uh, uh, the impedance of the speaker, we tap one of the secondaries, which will give us it will change the impedance of the primary. So, for example, for a 32 ohm, we would use the black and the white. If it's a 16 ohm speaker, we'd use the black and the yellow, 8 ohms black and the green, 4 ohms black and the orange. And depending on which one I tap it down to, it's obviously going to affect the loudness of the speaker. And uh, I don't know what the impedance of the speaker is, so we can certainly play it by ear, though, and try it and see which one's going to give us the best, um, the, the the best sound quality. Because it's going to change the sound quality depending on which tap I connect it to. So I'm going to grab the chassis again and grab the speaker, and we'll change this transformer, get the transformer mounted, and then we'll figure out which one of these secondaries is going to give us the best sound. It's a little larger than the original one, so it's not going to line up exactly with the other hole. So I'm going to secure it with probably some JB Weld or something down in the bottom corner here, just so that it doesn't, it's not going to move anyway, but just to make sure that it doesn't uh, cause any problems. These are my primary wires, so I can shorten these wires. We don't need to have them three feet long here. We'll shorten these wires and connect them up and put some heat shrink around the um, primary input wires here. Okay, that's got the primaries connected. The secondary, the the ground is going to be black, so or zero ohms as they call it. So we're gonna we're gonna take that one and we'll connect that one up to this common lead here, which is the one that's got the uh, the power going into it, and then the other one is going to go to the voice coil. Because the other side of the voice coil goes through this, it's basically a humbucking coil, right? So one side down to there, you can shorten this wire, it doesn't need to be two feet long. And then for the other ones, I'm going to test them, I'm going to connect them with the jumper. Okay, that side's done. 
Let's go get the chassis and we'll figure out which one of these is going to give us the best sound. Okay, so we're starting it out with the first wire okay, here. Again next year, but he's promising we'll switch to the next wire. I'm going to do this very quickly here so it doesn't... Uh, for minor injuries caused by crashes, but he has no interest in making a no-fault insurance province. I'm Mark Shaba Bernardo. The air around the lower mainland is a lot thicker and dirtier than it was... News 1130's Denise Wong has more from the regional district, which says air quality is worse. So it's going to be a low. So the one that sounds best actually is the orange wire. So right now I'm on the six. It's just 16 or 32. This is the 32 16 ohm. Uh, so the one, uh, the four ohm was actually sounds the best. Because this is the 32 16. The other one was a 16 8. Then there was an 8 4. And, this, and the orange is the four. So we'll go to the four and you see it's louder. So that tells me that the speaker is going to work with the four ohm setting, and that's what one we're going to use. So the three taps that I'm not using, I'm just going to put a piece of heat shrink tubing over the end of them, so that uh, they don't touch anything. Okay, so that's those three taken care of. Now we'll hook up the orange wire to the speaker permanently and then we'll get this unit into the cabinet. And we'll give it a final test once I've got it mounted in the cabinet before I send it on its way. Okay, we'll just turn it on here and test it again before I uh, button it up. I'm Roger Ward. Failed conservative leadership candidate Brad Trust is taking the party to court over claims his campaign leaked the party's membership list. Brad Trust wants an Ontario court to compel the conservative party to return $50,000 his campaign was fined or failing that order an impartial review of the matter. Party's leadership organizing committee the Okay, now we'll just mount this thing back in the cabinet and we'll test it. Okay, the radio is mounted back in its cabinet. It basically just sits in there, right? It's actually held in place by the wooden knobs which are going to be attached to the front. So I'm just going to turn it around so I can put the knobs on it. We'll hook up an antenna and we'll give it a final test. The knobs basically hold this thing in place. They all have screws on them. So you put the knob in. Then you tighten down a screw that holds it in place. They've got a brass insert. I don't know which one's which. That's, that's the power button, that one. The tuning knob is a dual size knob Shall we test it? See how it sounds? Police are targeting this traffic drivers. So before you say anything, think about putting your phone down and staying safe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't miss the Amazon halftime performance featuring your award winning. Mm -hmm.
Sounds fantastic. Their lung conditions or heart conditions, they may find that they're wheezing more, that they're more short of breath, uh, and that they're having to um, breathe a lot more uh, with more difficulty than that they normally would. There you go. I hope you enjoyed part three. As I say, I'm having to speak loud to speak over this thing, and I'm right next to the camera. It's actually quite loud, and it's not turned up all the way. This thing produces a pretty good tone, actually. Hope you enjoyed the restoration of this 1936 Viking by Home, as well as AM shortwave radio. And, and Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one real soon. That you're doing